Well, the debate over whether pea platters should be banned from driving high-powered cars has come up again. In most states, new drivers are not allowed to drive V8s, but in WA, they can. Opposition leader Mark McGowan says that needs to change. Under a certain age, maybe 21, 25, uh, restricting the power of the car you can drive uh, is important towards saving those young people's lives, but also protecting the community. Well, joining us now is Tom Davies from Road Safety Organisation Enough is Enough. Tom, good morning to you. Thank you for your time. Good morning, guys. Thank you. Banning pea platters from driving high-powered cars, V8s and the like, is that a good way to go? I'm optimistic about the results, but we do this with motorbike riders. New motorbike riders are only allowed restricted, uh, restricted vehicles in which they can use, so I think it's logical that it is applied to other vehicles as well. We've seen it work in the East Coast, so I think it's logical that it happens here next. Yesterday we, uh, we, we put up some vision, uh, some hoon vision, showing a number of uh, what looks to be young people doing massive burnouts in what again looks to be high powered cars. I have to stress this was in a pine plantation north of Perth on private property, so not on a public road, but of course these things are spread by wild, like wildfire on social media. Uh, that's got to be a big challenge for you guys trying to get the message out there. Definitely a challenge. People see that impressionable young drivers, and I um, think that maybe that's acceptable. A private property, sure, if you can get away with it there, but um, on public roads, that sort of behaviour is just not acceptable. Three weeks ago, we saw a young teenager lose her leg. She was hit by uh, an allegedly uh, hoon driver doing a burnout in Darch. What does it uh, do to you when you hear stories like that? Does it make you feel like we're actually making progress here? Uh, I think we're making progress, yes. These sorts of instances obviously stand out and it's an absolute crying shame that that poor girl has suffered the injuries she's had and the, the man responsible in the vehicle, um, you know, will we'll pay the penalties for that. But I think we glorify it by calling these people hoons and, you know, they're not hoons. What they are is they're, they're reckless idiots and I think by calling them hoons we're purely glorifying the action and we're kind of making the situation a little bit worse ourselves. All right, we'll be interested to see whether we fall in line with the other states with regards to V8s and P-platers. Tom Davies, thanks for your time this morning. Thanks for having me.